Hey everybody, welcome to the new series. After playing Corona Town a little bit, I noticed a lot that I didn't like how uh, my mod settings were, and I noticed I haven't played Factorio in quite a while, so I've come back and looked and tried to add in alien biomes to just freshen things up and make it look a little different from vanilla. But after doing all that, I noticed I messed with settings with resource spawner overhauler a little bit too much, and what I'm going to do in this game, I took off all the mods, as you can see. Only thing that is actually checked here is the base mod, which is required, but everything else is just stuff that I've had over the years. So I'm going to go ahead and go play, new game, and I'm just going to go right into a real world game with, with not messing with anything and just let it be. Just to randomize the seed a little bit, because that's what I like to do. Uh, but in thinking back, what I've noticed too, in, in what I'd like to see out of a mod, if anybody knows how to mod or knows of a mod, I'd like to see something that randomizes... Uh, everything on a patch by patch basis. I could understand frequency is something that might not be easy to mod, but size and richness of patches themselves, I'd like to see it where some of your iron ores are big and rich and some are small and not rich and, you know, the whole mix of everything like that between each individual patch being a different size and richness of the other ones. So that's that's what I think I would like to see out of a mod after after looking at my settings and looking at games and messing with wings and tweaking things and trying to see what I can and can't do. So just going to leave it as it is on Vanilla Rail World. No mods, as you saw. Leave all these things together the way they should be. Uh, Vanilla Rail World removes enemy expansion, so they just evolve. I think they evolve, I think, a little faster, or if you destroy them, or a little faster over time. Not Not quite sure. So... We are going to put on the research queue because I, just for some, I don't know why they always have to turn that on. I always forget to, but I really like having that on because you can just queue up a few resources while you're setting your base up and they just keep going, you know? So randomize to see it again. I, I just, you never know, you know? I just love to randomize it. I love that random aspect. So let's open her up and see what happens. Initial reactions here. Oh, got a little stone in my iron. That's okay, I suppose. It's a little weird. Very deserty, sort of, sort of cliffed in here from the outside. Got some coal down here. The only thing I really like to see out of my starts, and again, I, this one's just, it stinks when it's not that way. But I love my coal and my water just to be nice and close to each other early on, so that you can get your your power going without having to run underground belts and all that kind of stuff. I guess the nice thing going on here is I could use this coal purely for power and use this coal all for smelting with my resources here. So. We'll see what happens in an hour, and you can check back in then, or you can check out the Twitch, slash Burzer3 on Twitch.tv. You can see it and follow it live with me as I do the recordings, or just check the uh, YouTube series here. And if you like it, you like it. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next video. Buddy, we are at, as you can see here, 1 hour 25 seconds. After the first hour in, i got to kind of pay attention here because I'm getting... They are already pissed. This little base here keeps coming up and just set an attack here, and I just repaired things. But I have... You can barely see there is a miner right here mining up some coal. I finally got it to just belt over into my uh, steam setup. Early on, I had... I forgot how much I kind of enjoy something like this, other than right now it's proving... Let me say what I'm saying. I had my iron and my copper, or my iron and my coal butted up against each other. So early on, I could put my mining drill, wherever it is, my, my little base one that they give you. I put it on half and half of each. That way I could just put down my my uh, stone furnace and it would mine up coal and iron to smelt at the same time which is really cool that makes me happy when it happens early i forgot about it it's just like you know like ah cool like one miner for a place of two early just kind of feels good so for right now what i'm doing right over here is i'm going to set up i'm going to do my iron line here just going to belt everything underneath this wall and uh i'll do my iron i'll do my copper then i'll do uh i'll bring the coal underneath and feed that in underneath this little gap here just to save myself an underground belt but who knows maybe maybe this cliff wall here will provide nice if there's something like the the biters end up like tearing my base down while i'm not looking and they can't get through that wall maybe it'll give me a little security over here i don't know obviously i'm probably going to just be set up in a way where i'm not going to be dying to them uh on stream funny enough one of my one of my, my uh stream viewers just now was mentioning how i should be building stone bricks to walk around on because i have such a long walk all the way over here to my power and i ironically laughed at that because that's one of the things i'm actually trying to do with these is make my i'd love to have my base completely uh concreted is one of my goals here that i've never really accomplished so yeah one hour in and that's what we're going to be doing whoop my power is flickering i hope to goodness it doesn't go out I'm in the middle of a storm right now. Uh, my, my power in real life. Sorry, not in the game. My real life power. I'm in the middle of a storm right now. So my lights just flickered next to my computer here. 
We will see what happens, though, in the next hour. Again, you can join on Twitch TV if you want to watch it happen live or just keep watching the YouTube videos if you enjoy just seeing the hour-by-hour -hour update. And hopefully in an hour I can have a proper smelting set up over here and a little bit more defended and get myself set up for expanding out to some larger resource patches wherever they may be. Stay tuned, and we'll see you soon. Welcome back. We are at the two-hour mark which everything in the base seems to be going pretty well other than I am very spread out from my power to my resources, which isn't isn't really a big deal other than these the biters in uh, Rail World with it being less tree-like. They just keep coming at me a little faster than I can get, left, uh, get back and forth between my two bases, which is like every time I, I say to myself, I'm like, you know, I'm going to have to run over there to get this defended because they're going to come there. That's where they are. So uh, I'm sort of doing a little video while I am currently uh, walling myself up here for the moment. Because I keep getting screwed over by the dang biters. So I'm going to walk and talk with you a little bit. Like that. You can see them right next to me there. Look at these guys. Little little live action feed for you. Yeah. So. But I'm, I'm getting my base put up together a little bit. Got my science going over here. You can't really see it because I don't have the radar at the moment. Let me just put some bullets in these baddies. So that wall is defended. So I've got my iron here, splitting off my uh, stone, making that in the bricks over here so I can use that to make these walls. I'm going to make another wall right here once I get set up here in a moment. But I have over here just making my red signs, started making my copper wire so I can start making my green circuits. Got my smelting in a pretty okay place, and I've got my uh, just one chest right now making some ammo. For, for fueling all these uh, turrets at the moment. I'm having a hard time talking while I'm running around and doing things. But once I get the wall set up right here, then I will feel a little bit better about this whole south side being defeated. I'll get my physical projectile damage, my weapon shooting speed, and I will get steel so I can make armor-piercing rounds. And at that point, I will then go probably and take care of the biters here underneath me that just keep attacking and attacking. And I will make my way up here. These guys are attacking my base up here as well. So I'm going to set up a nice wall along the top here and make a couple more turrets just to defend this whole uh, cliff to water region right here is where I'm going to go next. So that is where we are right now. Things are – it took me a little bit. I've been getting attacked left and right, like I said, running right now. But now that I've got a little bit of resource underneath my uh, feet, I can uh, – what you call it? start actually actually moving forward and not feeling so so screwed up by these guys that's actually gonna have to go down a little bit to meet up with that but yeah so that's where we are right now gotta pause so i can actually say goodbye see you at hour three when hopefully we have this more to set up we'll have hopefully steel and such and be well on our way into expanding out to a new area to acquire new resources for whatever <laughs> for Factorio things. We'll see you guys then. Stay tuned and check the Twitch if you want to see more. Back again, as you can see there, two hours, 59 minutes, so we are at the three hour mark here. The biters are relentless. I'm not sure if I'll have to check when I, I go to look if Rail World settings have different uh, settings for biters. I, I, I said in the beginning, I think they evolve a little faster, but I'm also in a very desert-ish kind of land. Um, so without any trees to really absorb pollution, I can't tell maybe if that's why they seem so uh, aggressive, or if it's just that, that things are a little different. But I just before started this clip, I just put this entire wall up. They've eaten through this uh, quite a few times. If I open up my kill logs in the past, well, 10 hours will be everything. So they've, yeah, they've eaten seven boilers, three of my gun turrets up. One of my steam engines, but I mean, seven boilers is just enough to, to prove that they, they've been ripping this up multiple times where I only have four down. So, I mean, they've, you know, seven. They Point is, they've, they've done a lot of destruction to it. So, I finally got myself set up here with iron, and uh, so I'm prioritizing here the left line, which is the line that's half mixed in with all the stone, because I'd love to get this freed up so I can just full mine this out without having to worry about weird ins and outs finally just started my path here because with them eating this base up so much i find myself running up there way more frequently than i like to uh, 
like to. And as much as I hate wasting brick on path, it's going to save me so much time running around that you just don't, you never see those numbers. You know what I mean? So I'm really working on that. But got my steel and my steel down here to make my armor piercing rounds, which I actually have 120 now, which is going to be awesome. And I had to get my physical projectile damages researched even further just to help keep me safe. I got attacked somewhere. They ate through this this uh, radar and started eating through here. So I'm not sure where over here that triggered them. These two here are just worms. I know I, they've been there since the start of the game. I don't think that I, I triggered this pack. Because I feel like if I did, they would have just ran right here. So I'm thinking maybe maybe down here somewhere. There might have been a... Well, no, because this is real world. So bases do not spread. So they... Yeah, I don't know where where they sent an attack from that would have got me here. I have no clue. But regardless, we're, we're getting pretty set up pretty well now. So I've got my, my ammo going here. Be able to take that excess. I'll be able to make my black science packs to then research into... I'll probably have to take my weapons into the next level just because... Let me open my map. Uh, me wanting to expand down here, I'll need to get to this oil to do any sort of blue science pack research, which isn't a big, big deal, but uh, any biter that I run into, I'll, I'll have to make sure I have a good amount of defense to set up. On the bright side, a little bit of stone here, right against my water, is going to be really awesome for making concrete. I believe concrete is stone and uh iron ore yeah so i'll be able to just smelt all that right there and just make make all the concrete i ever wanted over there which would be awesome because i I've, I've not yet had a base fully concreted out and that would be very exciting for me to have that and refined concrete really never never done that so that would be really cool but i'm rambling so if you enjoy the content Feel free to stop by the stream and you can watch it happen live if not just keep checking out the videos and comment in below if you want to like comment on my shitty designs or something <laughs> thank you see you guys in the next hour okay almost missed this one was getting real into the stream uh four hours and two minutes in currently right now i'm getting myself set up to have just a uh little bit of actual just stone mining then up here you can see so i have this filtering out the stone off to the left onto this belt and I have this one also filtering stone to, to feed, feed this one into the same, but have the input priority from this bottom belt to just continue working out all the stone off these uh, off the half line of iron and stone. Up here, I need to upgrade to well, maybe not. I'm, I just upgraded these furnaces. Oh, you pieces of shit! Where 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 are these things coming from? I'm not gonna be able to get there through this garbage. I'm actually not even going to, like, kill these guys. I might die. <laughs> Where the hell did they come from? A little live action for you on that one. I would imagine that they came... So, okay, so I was thinking that these biter bases here and here, when they get aggroed, were going to whittle their way through and come down here. Apparently not, so I'm going to have to continue my idea of taking this wall all the way across here and, and working out this whole side. Back to talking about how, yeah, I think my copper is going to need to be a little more, a few more miners. It's probably going to need uh, all the miners to match up with the smelters. <laughs> uh, making my black science potions now. I was just about to head up north here and uh, redefend these walls, but now I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and... Uh, continue that wall all the way across here and protect this after I well I'll, set, I'll wait till bleh. I'll set up a wall first then I'll rebuild the copper mining because that's just gonna they're probably they're just gonna come down again before I can come on down so yep steel being made have pretty much everything I need here just to get myself going um, some inserters in a box some belts in boxes my ammo is being buffered here that way I can steal it when I need it couple uh, tier 1 assembly machines and mining drills because I'm going to need those when I expand out. I don't worry too much about making the tier 2s because they – oh, motherfucker. They, uh, they're not too hard. The hardest part there is making the tier 1s, and they only take a few seconds to make. 
Uh, half second crafting time, yeah. So if you have, as long as you got the other ingredients on you, it's always kind of quick. So, I think that's it. Maybe my next thing is going to be for me to get up over down here to this oil and start mining it. Oh, that's kind of cool. So there's some water out here. I don't actually check my map so often, except for when I'm doing the uh, the hourly clips because I'm just getting into it. So, some oil down here I can go grab. Looks like there's some water here. So I'm just going to finish out walling here on the top and reset up my copper smelting and then perhaps just really fortify myself in pretty well to then expand myself out into oil get my blue science going and get my train system really working so that's where we are now if you like what you're seeing feel free to like you know let me know or like i said come by the stream if you want to see it happening live i sh hopefully will be doing this base for a while so the quarantine express is in full swing catch you guys soon i hope thank you